नमस्कार हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस सेशन ऑनवर्ड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर सेवन दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन दी प्रोसेस सिंक्रोनाइजेशन और यू कैन से थ्रेड सिंक्रोनाइजेशन यूजिंग सेमाफॉर और थ्रेड्स और न्यू टेक्स्ट लॉक नॉट थ्रेड सो नाउ ऑनवर्ड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ वी कैन सिंक्रोनाइज टू प्रोसेस और टू थ्रेड्स विद दी हेल्प ऑफ न्यू टेक्स or semaphores so in this session particularly we are going to discuss the mutex and the difference between the mutex and the semaphores i have already discussed in the theory so i'll give you the link in the description you can check the video okay so now let's start the discussion um uh, in programming when we do the programming to synchronize two threads we use mutex and mutex you do understand mutex is having a locking kind of or unlocking kind of mechanism so in order to define a mutex variable in c programming we need to use pthread underscore mutex underscore t type of variable so once you declare this type of variable you can declare your mutex and in order to declare this type of variable we need to include pthread underscore or you can say pthread library okay so a mutex is a synchronization primitive that is used to protect the shared resources such as variables data structures or code section from the concurrent access by multiple processes or threads so when a thread wants to access the resource it must first acquire the mutex so first acquire a lock on the mutex with the help of pthread underscore mutex underscore lock please do remember this is very important function and if everything goes fine and if this function executes successfully then the lock will be acquired on the mutex variable this function will block the thread if the mutex is already held by another thread so there are chances that a process or a thread is trying to acquire a lock on a mutex and that mutex is already locked by some other thread so in this case the currently thread which is trying to lock the mutex it will be blocked once the thread has acquired the mutex it can safely access the shared resource so just before accessing the shared resource we first ask the thread to acquire the lock on the mutex and after the shared resource has been manipulated then the lock can be released okay so in order to release the lock we use pthread underscore mutex underscore unlock function okay the pthread underscore mutex underscore t type is defined in this as i have already told you so we need to include this particular header file and once we declare it we need to initialize it so for initialization purpose we use pthread underscore mutex underscore init function so these are the very very important functions you please do remember let's talk about a bit on the syntax of these so in pthread underscore mutex underscore init we need to pass two arguments the, so the very first argument is in this function we pass of type pthread underscore mutex underscore t that means the variable okay so a pointer to this particular variable so we pass the address okay m percent we need to write okay variable that will store the initial initialized mutex and the another is the pointer to a pthread underscore mutex attribute underscore t so in order to set some attribute to the mutex we can use this but generally we don't initialize the variable so we pass this second argument as null okay in that case the mutex is initialized with the default attributes right if the mutex is successfully initialized this pthread underscore mutex underscore in it will return zero So please do remember we can check in case there is any any error when we want to initialize a mutex so we check for zero right 
and in case there will be an error then the non-zero value this function will return now there is another function p thread underscore mutex underscore log so after initializing a mutex by using p thread underscore mutex underscore in it then we can call p thread underscore mutex underscore log and the function takes a pointer to the p thread underscore mutex underscore t type variable okay if the mutex is currently unlocked the function locks the mutex and returns zero so please do remember the return value will be zero in case the mutex was not logged it was free so when a thread will log the mutex this particular function p thread underscore mutex underscore log will return zero and if the mutex is already logged by another thread the calling thread will be blocked the thread will be blocked until the mutex becomes available okay now there's another function to unlock the mutex that is p thread underscore mutex underscore unlock the function takes a pointer to the same p thread underscore mutex underscore t type so the variable which we want to unlock we need to pass the address of that okay and if the mutex was logged by the calling process in that case once the log will be released the, this function will return zero so the return value of p thread underscore mutex underscore unlock will be zero in case of success if the mutex was not logged by the calling thread <coughs> or an error occurs the behavior will be undefined so the return value in this case is not defined obviously it will be anything apart from zero right then the last function which we need to use in case of mutex that is p thread underscore mutex underscore destroy so as the name suggests this function can destroy a mutex which we have declared or initialized earlier okay so this particular variable represents the mutex to be destroyed the function destroy the mutex object and releases any associated system resources after a mutex has been destroyed it cannot be no longer be used by any synchronization mechanism okay so that is i hope you can understand now so in this uh, session i am just uh, discussing mutex in next session we will be discussing semaphore just look at in terms of programming how we can utilize the mutex so i am just giving you the sample program okay so as a sample program i have written you consider that with the help of mutex we are trying to secure a kind of critical section where a thread is trying to manipulate the shared resources so just look at here in the very first line i have declared a mutex variable named as mutex by initializing like uh, p thread underscore mutex underscore t type variable okay so because i have declared it outside main function it will be available everywhere like a global kind of variable okay then we try to initialize it so p thread underscore mutex underscore init function we are calling here and we are giving the address of mutex and arguments we are setting as attribute we are setting as none okay so it will take default attribute and i am comparing the return value of this with not zero in case it is not zero that means there is an error if there is a zero that means there is no error okay so if it will return zero that means the mutex is initialized okay with default attributes and then once it has been initialized we can lock it so for locking mechanism we use p thread underscore mutex underscore lock function and we just pass one argument in this and that will be the address of the mutex variable and here i am comparing if it is not zero that means there is an error in case of success if the mutex was unlocked then it will allow to lock and it will return zero and once it will return zero then the critical section can be acquired by the thread and it can execute inside its critical section okay so let's say inside the critical section we are just printing one statement inside the critical section kind of the sample code it is then if a thread is comes out from the critical section we need to release the 
lock from the mutex so we can use p thread underscore mutex underscore unlock and again we compare the return value should be zero if it is zero there is no error if there is zero there is an error okay and then once we have done with we can destroy the mutex so p thread underscore mutex underscore destroy and we can pass the address of the mutex and again we will compare with zero if the return value is zero it is success the mutex is destroyed otherwise so let me quickly execute it now let's compile this okay there's a space left sorry so now it is fine let me clear the screen so now we can run a dot out and it is printing inside critical section okay so that means the code is working fine but here actually we are just working with one code or one process so it is just a dummy code okay when we create a race kind of condition and we create multiple threads then you will realize how the mutex will help us to synchronize okay so for this session this is the introductory session on the mutex i'm closing it thank you see you in the next session